I can, can I, I get to pick? No, I don't have a signature hand. You know, I embrace all hands. I don't have that hand anymore, but I used to be 8'6", eight, 6'8", six, six, eight suited. Don't ask me why. Aces, obviously. Everybody's gotta say aces. 6'9 is known as Big Lick for 69. I wanna lay claim to pocket aces. I'm just gonna take those right now. You just say the pocket aces are the rast. Oh, he's got the rast right now. He's going for it. <laughs> Yeah, I've had some real jobs. I worked at McDonald's for a month. That was definitely a real job. The fish boat, you know, and I make so much money compared to, it's scary, you know, I make 18,000 in the first month. I worked for an insurance company for a while. I did porn for a while. Yeah, I did a little bit of, you know, it was fairly soft core in those days. They were the kind you put quarters in the slot. They weren't like the high budget films at all. You know, it was a good thing. You got to fool around with girls and they gave you $20 and some drugs. It was a pretty good day's work. The Old West, that would be awesome. I'd be the madam owning the brothel, like putting on the poker games and like playing in the poker games. That would be like unbelievable. But the guns would be, have to be checked at the door. Athens, back in the day, when they were coming up with all these cool ideas about like math, philosophy, and democracy. 30 years ago in Vegas, I would have been just making so much money. <laughs> Especially as a woman, you know, just. The time right before you, it's always like, oh man, you missed the crazy, you know, it was this, and this guy would come in, and you know, Dr. Doolittle would play, and Frank the dentist, and, and Lonnie the fucking uh, who knows, and it's like, they always have like, like a million people that you missed, and it's just, that's how it is. Billion dollars? I mean, guys, we, I could really change the world with a billion dollars, so I, I would have to take the billion, and I mean, just on general principle, I feel like it would have to be like an amount that's, you know what I mean? I don't know. You know, I'm a Park Place boardwalk kind of guy, obviously, but uh, take a turn around the corner, and I also like the two cheapest properties. I just like to own that corner. I would pick the property that's just mathematically the best investment. Clearly, it's the orange. And then after that, to a certain extent, I like the light blue ones. How much fun would that be if I could win the main? That was the fuck. But a billion dollars, I mean, dude, I gotta take the billion. I mean. I was on family vacation in northern Minnesota with my husband and his family. And so I got this text message and they're like, oh, so-and-so is sitting by himself at a heads-up table. And I'm like, oh, and it's like 10 o'clock at night and I'm in the cabin with my husband's family and we're playing Yahtzee. And I grabbed my laptop and the only Wi-Fi was down right by the water. There was this like little boathouse thing. I ended up getting it all in with two pair and he had one pair and I got counted for it on the river and I lost like a very large amount of money. And then he just left and he was gone. And I had to go back up to the cabin and play Yahtzee with my in-laws. <laughs> like, they had no idea that I just lost a house. <laughs> is, it, is it, can I never win the main now? I sign the, con the devil contract and take the billion, main is out forever? I would take the billion. I had a, I had a best friend and we would get drunk all the time playing and playing really high too. It would almost be like a thing, like if we, one of us got really stuck, we'd just get drunk and then we would just almost always bail out. And we would talk about why is that? Are you lucky or are you... And we kind of came to the conclusion that a lot of times your first instinct is usually right and it's easier to follow it when you're drinking as opposed to when you're not. I remember being in a hand in, with Lyle Berman. I don't know what he called me within the turn and no limit, but I kind of overreacted. Ugh, and I was so frustrated, I said, cocktails. I don't even know how much longer I played. I was winner 20,000, so I ended up winning $80,000, so I was completely blacked out. I don't remember anything, not, not one thing. Him and John Hennigan had a bet. Who could drink more? How much was the bet for? 10,000, I think, or something. And John, I never drank. I think he was drinking vodkas, and I was drinking Goldschlagers. And we kept getting two glasses, sort of like Todd has there. And after about five, four or five trips, John said, this is it. If you drink any more than this, you win. And so I got two more. And I won, and he threw me 10,000. Playing, nothing, I don't feel bad or anything. And all of a sudden, I remember looking at my whole cards, folding, and then I just went, 
put my head right all over my chips and about 20 or 30,000 in cash and all my chips and I just threw up all over half the table. So my good friends knew that they had to take care of me and what they did was they got up, it was like four in the morning when this happened, and they just all moved the game to the next table in the Bellagio up on the top side. They left me there. <laughs> left me there with my head in my chips it and the vomit. vomit and everything. Do you want a drink? We have Goldschlager. Thank you. Hello. I mean, a billion's a lot, but if it was like 10 million, I think I'd be still, still hunting the main. You know, I think. Not that I can't use the 10 million. Don't mistake that for, oh, I'm so, no. No, the 10 would, yeah, I could be, you know. Yeah, I might take the 10. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure, that's a good question.